Hello friend, I would like to talk to you briefly today about farming ethics. I won't keep it long, but I wanna make a point. Farming ethics, how ethics will directly impact your life and how poverty will affect your life even if you're not experiencing poverty. In other words, poverty can affect the ethics of another person which could directly impact your life, your health, your well-being. What am I talking about? Welcome to 3,000 meters of greenhouse that's bare and empty. We're getting ready. We're just starting to plant some new plants. We lost 3,000 meters of kale, Swiss chard, collard greens, mustard greens, bok choy, tat soy. How did we lose it? those terrible little mariposas y gusanos, butterflies and their worms. So the butterfly lands on a leaf, lays its eggs, the eggs hatch, the larvas hatch, become worms, they eat the leaves. In a few days they become butterflies, they fly to the next plant, lay their eggs, and the cycle repeats and repeats and repeats. And typically there's an organic way that you can deal with them, but when, when you get to the point of millions and millions and they're overtaking because the organic process is not working, you've got two options left, only two. And that is number one, go to a strong insecticide that will wipe anything out. Sometimes they're red level, yellow, blue level uh, bottles at the farm stores. And they will tell you, you can spray this, but you can't harvest for seven days. There's one, spray it, but you can't harvest for 30 days. That's how toxic it is. That the government itself says, don't feed it to humans for 30 days. And I'm telling you, it's still toxic, even after 30. So you got two decisions, 3,000 meters, save the farm and harm your customers and destroy your ethics or pull the plants, destroy the cycle, and start over again. We've had to do this over and over and over again. It's just normal for us. There comes a day we say, okay, pull it. We've tried everything organic, everything near organic. We're not going there. We're not gonna hurt our customers. That's our ethics, so pull it. And every time we say pull, it costs us about $10,000. Now, as a nonprofit organization, Trying to grow superfoods for widows and orphans, 10 grand and 90 days to repair everything, plant the new plants and get them back up and running again. It's a horrible thing. I mean, imagine uh, just chalking out one fourth of your year for when the butterflies come. But that's the ethics that we have chosen to walk in at a very great expense. Now, if I was in poverty, and I was stuck in my little Latin American farm and those butterflies are here and they're threatening the life of my family, I'm going to use the $15 bottle of red level spray. I'm gonna kill everything in that greenhouse except the plants. And then I'm gonna pull those plants and I'm gonna feed them to you. And you're not gonna have a clue what's in that plant. My lack of ethics and my poverty and my having to save my family because I'm in poverty is going to directly affect you when you eat my vegetables. That's how this whole system runs. It's so cheap and it's so tempting to just buy the $15 bottle of Red Level and spray it down, save the farm, and let's just keep on moving and forget what you saw, nothing to see here, I'm not gonna worry about my customer's health, just get their cash from them and give them nice kale next week. Oh, it just drives me crazy seeing this. I never would have known this, I never would have seen it before if I had not stepped directly into the path of farming. And so I'm just here to tell you, our ethics say we will not spray our customers. And our ethics tell us customer's life over the life of the farm. And so pray for us. Not only did we lose 10 grand just in 90 days, but the new kale seed we ordered, we waited for four weeks and it did not activate. 
We lost another month waiting for the kale to activate and it did not. So we had to rush in more kale seed and wait for it to activate and sprout and come up. And so now we're out this year four months of work. But those are the ethics. We ask God to bless them and to multiply them and to somehow make up for the loss. And I know you're thankful hearing this today if you eat our kale and our Swiss chard, mustard green, collard greens, all of that. You're thankful to know you got a guy on the backside looking out for your health. But warning, warning, there's a lot of other guys out there that are in poverty and they couldn't give two flips about the long-term health of the customer. Because when you're in poverty, your thinking is, I got to feed my family this week. And when you got to do that, nothing else counts. Who cares about next month? If I can't feed my family this week, who cares about your health next year? It's all about week to week, day by day, just getting food on the table. Let's help all we can who are in poverty and any farmer that you know that's in poverty, help them out if you can. Help them out of their poverty and tell them that, that the ethics are important and it's worth it for them to say no, replant if they have to, and gain the, 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 uh, the ethics and gain the notoriety in town that they can be trusted with the food supply. Well, I hope this has helped. Sorry it's so long, but that was my heart today, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon.